Yellow, Dani here and today I'm going to be doing the booktube newbie tag. This is the first tag I've ever done so I'll probably talk forever. Bad. Right, so since I'm only here for about three months now I thought I should do that. So let's go. Question number one. Why did you start this channel? Well, this channel actually exists for a long time. Um, but I used to just use it to upload random videos of concerts and things I want to show to people. Because it was like the only place where I was able to upload videos. So there was that. But some point in 2014 in summer I wanted to do something different on this channel and actually use it properly and I started with um, reviewing TV shows, songs, new albums, music videos, whatever I wasn't really sure anymore like how to properly do it and I wasn't sure about copyright because you actually like show content in your video that is copyrighted so I was like eh, not so sure about it so then the YouTube channel just died again and became the same thing as before and about as I say three months ago I was randomly stumbling upon videos on YouTube about people reviewing books and I actually found out that there's actually a thing like booktube and I was like hmm I'll read I could do something like that I'm just very very terrible at talking and reviewing and anything in front of the camera in general so I thought I could read and review and learn and gain confidence and everything in one so I was like yeah why not so that's how it started officially so yeah as you know as I'm always saying I'm not yet very confident and sure how to do this and talking and getting to the point everything because I talk really slow so I wanted to do this mainly for myself, obviously if people follow me and like my videos and want to talk to me about it and whatever, yes I'm totally fine with this but I also do it for myself to gain confidence, to learn how to properly talk, to get to the point, to review something, to just mainly for myself. So that's why I started and I'm liking it so far. I follow a lot of other booktubers and they're all awesome and I'm not so Ooh. to be fair like I think talking to a camera is a lot easier for me than actually talking to people because hell to the no I hated that in school any presentation anything in front of people eh uh, no so this is kind of weird because I'm talking to a camera and I'm seeing myself in there and it's just like talking to a mirror so it's kind of weird but it's also fun and I'm liking it more and more so that is a good thing a good start so yeah that's it right question number dos what are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? Well, good question. I think, I mean a lot of people that I follow on booktube are people that actually read books. Physical, big, massive, seven, eight hundred pages of books with no pictures. Which is great. I just don't know how you do seven books in a month or something because I can't but I also like I love comics and mangas 
graphic novels and books so I bring all of those into one channel so I'm not just book channel I'm also a comic channel, a manga channel all of that and yeah that is because I suck at reading as I said so tiny books comics, mangas, everything that I can read done great for me. I might at some point add some other stuff to this channel. I mean I'm already, already doing some vlogs as well even though walking around with a camera in front of people outside in the real world is really weird for me so that's why it's more like hidden and most of the outside scenes are just scenes without me talking because awkward uh, but yeah so and I want to include my art at some point which is really hard because I do also follow some art people and they do those time-lapse videos where they film themselves drawing and then speed it up and I don't know how to do this because I can't just sit on my table and draw for seven hours straight it's the same reason I can't sit down and read a book seven hours straight so the filming would be really weird because I would have to move the camera all the time so I'm not doing it yet and if I do digital art and I would film my screen it's just really hard to find a program that is actually good quality because everything I've done so far is bad so I haven't really done this so if I get more into art again I might do like also like wrap up videos kind of what I did every month like I do with the book so I'm just gonna show what I did in that month art wise but I don't know yet I want to keep my channel open to new things and other stuff and not just focus on one thing specific which might be bad because some people only follow for one thing so they'd be like eh no but I don't know yet so I'll see right question number three what are you most excited about this new channel well as I said definitely growing up like in confidence and speech and to also find people, other people that read, other people that like the same things as me and maybe even people, maybe I even find people who live in the same country as me so I could meet up with people, who knows? I like this new world and I'm open to new experiences so who knows? Let's see and let's get surprised. Question number four. Why do you love reading? Technically I always loved reading since I'm a little girl. Just that big books scared me to no end. So even as a kid I always read comics. Running into the library, taking all the comics. Um, I pretty much read every single comic that was in the library. So it was lucky from Lucky Luke to Tintin to whatever the hell was there, I don't even know. There were so many ones that I don't see anymore that... I don't know, Asterix, all of that, like this. They were all in that size as well. So, yeah, even as a little kid I read those. So yeah, even as a kid I read those. I later on read like children book, like thin books with big words and like 150 pages because everything that was little for me, fast, big words, short books, everything was good. And yeah, just in general diving into a fantasy world in a world that doesn't exist in real life when I go to work every day and all that so for that it's always good just to escape reality really so yeah basically that question number five what book or book series got you into reading? that question I can't answer that is a hard 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 question because I don't know because all of my life I've been in and out of reading 
so there wasn't a specific series that made me start it's just probably specific books that made me start again so as I say back when I was little I read all the comics out of the library because our teachers made us do so they wanted us to read about five books every two weeks so I don't even remember just a lot and I was like hey no thanks so whenever I went to the library I picked up comics because I could read five comics in two weeks obviously so that's what I did so they made us read back then um, and yeah as I said as a kid I couldn't read long books and it's still a problem of mine like long books freak the shit out of me because I know it will take me forever and I'm like oh no I really want to read this book but no it takes me forever and then when I start reading it there's other things I want to read so I just stop reading one thing and start a new thing and then just... ah so <laughs> reading died again as a kid and then it I picked it up again about 10 years ago years ago I've read I have I have like phases I gotta tell you that like I just get into something and I do everything that has to do with it so I think it was about 2008 I'm not even sure I was into Nicholas Sparks books don't, don't even ask so I read all the books and then watched the movies after I read the books so that surprised me that there was one book that was really big and I read it in six days and I was like but I dedicated myself just to reading it was summer holidays and I was just sitting outside in the sun reading a book all day long for hours and hours and hours it's really weird because it's not usually what I'm doing so that got me into reading again and then I was into vampires I think probably I could say Twilight got me into reading again well, you know, whatever. Um, so, yeah, and then working at the comic shop, it got me into reading comics again. So ever since, like, three years, I've been reading loads and loads and loads of comics. And now with me finding out about booktube, I wrote down a lot of books I want to read. So I kind of got into reading books again as well. So it's a lot of things that make me do things so I can't say what book specifically made me read but I used to be a lot about book and movie so I knew there was a movie so I wanted to read the book first I think that's why I got like some five years ago I got into the mortal instruments because I knew that there was going to be a movie so I started picking up the series and I read it all through until book Five, but I don't remember anything part of book one so I'm rereading at the moment um, so yeah just things like that I think question number six what question would you ask your favorite booktuber I think it's a more of a behind the scenes kind of question I would ask because I'm watching all of these booktubers and I see the final video but I'm always curious about how they make their videos like do they read a book and write down things and then like script the whole thing they're gonna say on, on video or do they just speak freely well just questions like that because I don't know how they actually do this thing because me right now, I just read a book and I just take some notes about main plot things and then I just use them in the video and I just talk freely. That's why my videos are so slow and bad because I just talk of my, out of my head. So, because all the booktubers I all are really good doing this, they wrap it up real quick and they talk real fast. I know there's loads of cuts in between as well, so... but. It's just I would I would like to know how they prepare for a video, how they read and write down things, just things like that really is what I would love to know about. 
So yeah, how do you work behind the scenes? That would be my question. Question number seven. What challenge do you think starting a booktube channel will be hardest to overcome? Everything. As I mentioned in all the other questions. Reading faster, reviewing better, talking better, out of comfort zone. Everything. Everything. This is like school for me. This is like... I'm in my third month of school, how to book to, so everything. And reading books that are more than three, four hundred pages because <sighs> honestly. And also, I mean, yes, I know a lot of booktubers have books as their hobby, so they dedicate all their time after they work or went to school to reading so they sit down on a Sunday and read a book for seven eight hours I guess but I'm just different because I've got so many things I want to do because I'm obsessed with like everything so I watch a ton of TV shows I do art I work I read I don't even know so I can't just focus on one thing in my free time so I only read maybe an hour and then I put aside a book and then do other things all day. Um, or I don't read for three days. It always depends on what I'm doing. So there's a lot of things I need to learn. So that is probably a big challenge that I'm facing with book two. But it's also good because it will. I will grow with this and I will learn out of this. So... It's a good experience, even if I fail at booktube and I never have followers or anything like that. I don't really like, I'm not going specific, like, oh my god, I want like a million followers and this and that. I just do it for myself, as I said, but it would be cool to just have like, you know, get some friends out of this and all that stuff. So yeah, but yeah, biggest challenge, everything. Everything. Confidence, my friends, confidence is what I have to learn to get and booktube requires that so that's why I'm doing it so I think those are all the questions so that will be it for the video I would also want to add I know this book collection that you always see in my video doesn't look like a lot and it isn't but it's just first of all I don't have enough shelves. Second of all, I live in England while most of my stuff is still in Switzerland, so I also have loads of books there. I have books down here. Wait, I'm gonna show you. I have books down here that I should read. Not in a mood to read. Whatever, they're just here. Then that stuff is just what I have read so far. Then I have that pile over there is for my wrap-ups and so like this is what I bought this month and this is what I read this month. So once I've done the wrap-up video and all these I will put them on the shelf which has no shelf space. Woo and then I have books down here as well. These are is my TBR that is taking me forever. So you can see this is not all. I will be moving back to Switzerland this summer and I will try to one shelf dedicated to just books so you will see more books soon. Just to make this clear. I know it looks very sad. But I also like I used to not as I said, I, I used to have a lot, a lot, a lot of books out of the library. That's why I don't own any of the books I used to read. So that's why my bookshelf is really sad. And this is all comics, so you can see I spent more time reading comics than books lately. So, And then I got like two shelves of DVDs. There are like still half of them still in Switzerland. So 
yeah just wanted to make this clear so when you watch this you're like oh look at this she's got like eight books on her shelf but yeah anyway this is for the newbie booktube booktube newbie tag um i'm sorry if this video is long as i said my challenge this so i hope you like this video yes i will see you soon have a nice week and talk to you later no shelf space.